Welcome to my Heritage Pins channel. I want to offer you exciting virtual tours of the historical places of Estonia. I assure you we have something to visit and what to see. Today I discovered a very interesting example of a Soviet military vehicle the BTR-70. This APC is located in the courtyard of the Tallinn TV Tower. The Soviet Army's BTR-70 armored personnel carrier was designed to replace the earlier BTR-60. The first BTR-70 was completed and accepted into service in 1972, while series manufacture began in 1976, and the vehicle went on to become one of the main APCs used by the Soviet Army. The BTR-70 is essentially an enhanced version of the BTR-60. The main modifications took the form of new, more powerful engines and doors for unloading troops, now placed on the sides of the vehicle. The BTR-60 had the doors above the belt line, which made unloading under enemy fire very dangerous. The Soviet battle tactics for motorist infantry called for unloading troops from the vehicle while it was in motion. Both the BTR-60 and BTR-70 were powered by two gasoline engines. The six-cylinder inline engines of the BTR-60 were similar to those of the GAZ-51 and GAZ-52 trucks. The eight-cylinder engines of the BTR-70 had 120 horsepower each and resembled those of the GAZ-53 truck. Although the two engines were supposed to be synchronized, this proved a challenge and eventually one of the main shortcomings of the BTR-60 and BTR-70. Poor fuel economy was also a serious drawback of gasoline engines. The Soviet Army's next APC generation, the BTR-80, while resembling the design of the BTR-70, already came with a single diesel engine a turbocharged Cam AZ engine. Most of the BTR armored personnel carriers were manufactured in the Gorky Automobile Factory of Nizhny Novgorod. In addition to the main armament 14.5mm and 7.62mm machine guns, the BTR-70 could also be fitted with smoke grenade launchers, IGLA and Strela man pads or rocket propelled grenades, also called as RPG. At present day, the BTR-70 is used mainly by the countries formed out of the dissolution of the Soviet Union, where variants of the BTR-70 were or are still manufactured as well. Russia had over 4,000 APGs of types BTR-60, BTR-70 and BTR-80, and the Ukraine over 900. Elsewhere, the largest number of BTR APCs are found in Syria, close to 1,000. The Estonian Defense Forces had four BTR-70 vehicles, which have been donated to museums, including the vehicle on display.